Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We're going to be creating this bright yellow gold makeup look using all of the products that I've been absolutely obsessing over lately. For some reason, I've just kept reaching for all of the same things and I keep creating this same makeup look. So I thought I'd better show you guys the tutorial. So yes, let's jump straight into it. Honestly, don't even know why I bother including this. You all know I'm nine times out of 10 going to be using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer as I am here. This one's incredible for smoothing out the skin and also for keeping your makeup locked in place all day long. Following up after that, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Honestly, swear on my life over the last probably three and a half weeks, oh, maybe three weeks. This is the only foundation that I have been using and traveling with. It makes my skin look so good. It lasts really well and it doesn't separate when it it gets shiny it's incredible it's incredible I do have a full review on it and I will link that down below for my brows I'm using this brand new brow powder by benefit I think it's the foolproof brow powder love this stuff really really cool toned quick fast simple easy to use it's only one product it's easy again I've been traveling a lot easy to pack and travel with it's just bomb moving on to the eyes I've obviously primed using the Mac pro Longwear paint pot as always but this Kat Von D shade and light eyeshadow palette and I know I realize that this eyeshadow palette has been around literally forever but for whatever reason I've only just started using it and since I started using it I've been using it basically every single day so just over the entire lid I took a really light matte bone color and I just set down my um, eyeshadow primer I'm then taking this sort of taupey grayy cool tone brown working that one through the crease very very softly diffusing it out not doing anything fancy here honestly and like I said this is a look that I'm just continuously repeating and just doing every day moving in with a sort of deeper more warmer tone brown just on that same big fluffy brush I don't know it's honestly such a basic eyeshadow look but I feel like it looks like super fancy <laughs> then going in with sort of a more densely packed blending fluffy brush and I will link and um, list all the brushes that I used in the description by down below for you guys but just with that same brown color essentially using it on this smaller more dense brush it's basically just going to pack on more color intensify it and make it a little darker then through the lower lash line running that same brown color again like really it's so basic it's seriously so basic and then going in with pretty well the style of the entire makeup look this is a cheek highlighter again by Fenty Beauty this is the trophy wife one it's a really really bright yellow vibrant gold taking that on a finger and basically just quickly popping it on the lid look at that color look at it it's insane this look takes two seconds and like I said it just it looks like it's been done by like a pro you will look like a pro <laughs> don't mind me just casually freaking out over the pigment of this Ridic. <laughs> so with a blending brush, I'm pretty much just taking a little bit more of that highlighter and buffing out the edges so they're nice and smooth. Now going in with a wing. Um, honestly, with a wing, without a wing, it really just depends what your preference is, what you enjoy. Here I am cheating at life, like always, using um, what even is that? I think it's a makeup remover pad to draw my wing up against. <laughs> so impressed with myself. Honestly, it just I'm all about making things easier. There's no harm in that. No harm. Not exactly sure why I've used this mascara in the video because this is a total lie and this is not my current most used mascara. The Charlotte Tilbury one is. It's really, really nice. So I'll link both of them down below. Now going in with some really nice natural lashes. I think that you might all know which brand these are from. Wink, wink, wink. I'll link it down below. Ah, I'm so excited for the launch. Moving on to the face again. I'm taking the Fenty Beauty. These are their matchsticks. Now I, in my review video, I told you guys how much I hated the cream uh, shimmery highlighters that's still 100% true I just don't think that they're worth the money but the actual concealer and the contour I think are actually really really nice so what I've been doing lately I've been taking the Fenty Beauty one drawing it sort of in all of the areas of my face where I like to highlight and I will link the colors that I use down below then taking the NARS complete matte concealer and kind of you know with a beauty blender mixing the two formulas together and then sort of pressing it all into the skin just makes you look so ridiculously airbrushed and it lasts so well doesn't crease doesn't separate I don't know I'm just latest obsession cannot stop using it and the contour like the darker contour versions of this formula are just 
honestly, it's amazing. As we all know, Nikia is a hot, greasy, oily mess, and I actually really do have a fair bit of trouble finding cream contours that will actually last the test of time on my skin. They're very, very much, you know, they move around, they slip, they slide, they separate with the oil, but this stuff is like bulletproof. It lasts all day long. It lasts through exercise. It's just life proof. And if it's life proof, it's Nikia proof. And it's Nikia proof, then you guys need to know about it. <laughs> so once that's all blended in with a sponge, I'm going to go ahead and set it all down. Now, I'm so sorry, but it's actually another Fenty beauty product. No, you know what? I'm not sorry. A lot of people are going to be like, this is a sponsored video. It is not. I have no affiliation with the brand at all. I've just been genuinely enjoying all of their products. This is a mattifying setting powder. Comes in a pressed form, so therefore it's really easy to travel with. And like I said, I've been traveling a whole lot lately and it's just been incredible to use so incredible then going in and kind of adding a little bit more warmth with the much loved and favorited Marc Jacobs coconut bronzer followed up by this NYX blush um, palette this is another one I've just I don't know I, I use it on my eyes I use it on my cheeks sometimes I'll use it to contour what am I doing <laughs> um, but yes I've just been using it a lot for a lot of different purposes then going in with a little bit more highlighter on my cheeks and then over the top of that I'm layering on that really bright gold <laughs> um, Fendi Beauty highlighter again it's honestly like it makes your entire face glow but it gives the skin a really like healthy kind of a glow as opposed to oh my gosh she's caked her face with makeup kind of a glow just it's so good you guys it's honestly so good and then lastly to finish it all off i've been reaching for this lipstick pretty much every single day this is the jeffree star our Veluid liquid lipstick in the color celebrity skin just find that it's it's a pretty pinky nude that has enough depth to it to not make me look like a dead zombie but it's also very long wearing so yes this is the completed look you guys i hope you really really enjoyed it as i said these have all been my go-to must-have favorite products over the last few weeks i love you all so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!